Hello, welcome to my basement. Do you hear the echo? It's echoing a little bit. Hold on, let me see if I got it right. There we go. This is my first vlog as a father. I'll probably, I'm gonna upload another video before this. Do my eyes look tired? They feel tired. Um, so I have a baby now. I have a child. She is born. She is risen. And she's awesome. I love her to death. She's my favorite thing in the entire world. Um, but, uh, so, but, but, but that's neither here nor there, okay? You're gonna see plenty of video of her. Let me not bore you with that, as if that's boring. Last time we did any painting, it was a front door. It's mild success. Uh, we did a straw poll and the overwhelming majority said, leave it the color it is, don't try to change it. So we, we haven't changed it, it's just how it is. And Everybody likes it, it seems. Uh, but today, we've got something new, something else that we're going to do. Um, my daughter, well, my dad, two different things, daughter and dad. My dad, back in the day, way back in the day, he used to be into like wood crafting stuff. And uh, so he made a shelf for me, which I shall show you now. Welcome to the pit of hell. This is <laughs> this is what you would expect a basement to look like where somebody dies, but uh, this is actually pretty clean compared to what it usually is. Uh, but anyway, this is a shelf. My dad made this for me so long ago. It's so cute. There's a shadow on it right now from this pole. Um, but yeah, I think it's kind of kind of cool. It's uh, you know, all of this. He did this all out of one piece of wood. No, he did this out of multiple pieces of wood. But still, I think it's pretty cool. Um, the thing is, Ariana's bedroom, um, we don't have any, like, stained wood look in there. If there's any wood, it's painted white. So some of you may cringe at this, but I'm going to paint this a white color. And I think it'll look really cute. We'd like to put a backing on it eventually that's kind of like a peach, peachish, coral, soft coral color. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I sanded it down a little bit and I just wiped it down and I'm going to put a primer on it. This guy right here, prime, get primed. And that's just to make sure that the paint that I put on it will stick. The paint that I'm putting on it is that oil-based, listen, learn, oil-based enamel. I don't have it here with me right now, but it's oil-based enamel, and it does like super clean furniture finish, and any brush strokes kind of flatten out. It's real pretty, real nice. So I'm going to get to that, and I'm going to come back to you when I create more problems for myself. Alrighty, so I've... Oh, there's a pole there. Whoops. <laughs> this is so hard to do. Hello? Do I push it this way? That way. Lower thirds. There we go. Aha! Shelf down there. So, I've painted it a little bit. Uh, ooh, artistic lens flare. I could do that for hours. Um, nice backlighting, though. Uh, anyway, so I primed the whole thing. You're looking at it right there. There she blows. Hello. Uh, I've got it all primed, and... The primer, this thing, it just, ooh, so pretty. It soaked up the primer. Primer is just like a white thing you put on it so regular paint sticks better. And it's very cheap. Um, so you're not wasting your regular paint on like a, a third and fourth coat or whatever. Um, so I put the primer on, soaked it up like crazy. I had to use, it, it was just like dip it in. Swoop, swoop it on, and and boom. Let's take a look. See, let's see if we can do this. Um, so there, you can see. Like, let's get in real close. See how it's like kind of just enough, just enough to cover it, right? But then I just started putting the paint, the oil-based enamel on there. Ooh, look at that shine. That's furniture grade shine. Now there's some imperfections, like here. You can see um, here. And I kind of like that. It was the wood that my dad picked and used. And, uh, you know, it's just some, some whatever, you know, whatever he had, he had found or had laying around. So uh, 
it doesn't make it look like something you buy from the retail store, but I think it adds a little character to it. So anyway, I shall uh, finish. It might take one coat. It might take two. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. But it's coming along beautifully. Alrighty, welcome to several days later. And uh, I just noticed, hmm, I wonder what's up there. <laughs> this is, now we are in my garage. Um, and uh, I've moved the uh, bookshelf out into the garage. There it is. And it's getting, it's okay. It's not bad. One coat of paint, decent. Um, but uh, it's an oil-based enamel paint. And that's kind of a strong aroma. And uh, you couldn't really smell it in the house. Nicole couldn't smell it or anything. But I was kind of like, I don't think I want that around the baby. So I've moved out into the garage. Uh, so there she is. A <clears throat> couple days later, um, paintbrush on the ground. So this paintbrush, I wrapped this up in some um, plastic, which is supposed to be good for 24 hours up to. And this has now been 48 hours of this in the plastic. So this is kind of hard. It's a little sticky, especially the ends. So I probably ruined a nice paint, good paintbrush. Um, but that's okay. I'm gonna try it anyway. Uh, this stuff is really nice. The paint is really nice. Let's try a look. You guys saw like how glossy, glossy finish. But can we get on here and see? Maybe from this angle? No? Okay, you can see the shine. You maybe see, yeah, right here. It's a little flatter. It's like shiny here and then flat here because there's some stain kill here. There were some stains that kept coming through the paint. They came through the primer and then they came through the layer of the paint. So I had to put some kills on here to get that stain out. Uh, I'm okay with a little, these imperfections, the knots and stuff. I'm okay with that. And that guy, some of this action. I'm okay with that. I think it's cute. I think it adds some character. It's nice. But the stain coming through is like blue color. It wasn't any good. So I'm not happy with it. But I think one more coat and we got it. Why one more coat, you ask? You may ask. Because, so, where's a good way to show you? Right there, you can see. Just didn't cover all the way. And that's probably my fault. An experienced painter would have probably nailed it first try. But whatever. Uh, since last time, I've cracked my phone, dropped it, and it cracked. So... I, it's good. Just in time to probably have to buy a new phone and iPhone 6 is going to come out next month or something on me. But anyway, I'm going to paint, put another coat of paint on. It's going to be wonderful. So, this is one of her favorite things. I'm whispering so I don't distract. She loves the pink birds. She ignores the green ones, but the pink ones... She loves them. Hey. Oh, she look at the blue one there. She gets so excited. I could watch this for hours. Oh my goodness. Okay, so update. There is the shelf finally. This is several months later, but we've did some decorating here in the room. Maybe I turn a light on? I might get in trouble for this. But there are, uh, there's a shelf. Yeah, in place, nothing super special, but it's just, it's nice nostalgia. And uh, don't have a lot of stuff on it, but Nicole put up some pictures there, pretty cute. And I put up, can you see this? I put up this uh, chandelier ceiling fan lamp thing which uh she loves shiny stuff but that thing was such a pain to put up holy cow a million parts like it came with three different attachments for every single thing it was really strange but hey are you enjoying she loves it all right 
so that's that that's that uh we got the shelf in place nursery's pretty much done ceiling fan that was something i should have done a separate project on that you would have seen me sweating like crazy but uh there it is grandpa's bookshelf